All right, I hope you had fun making stars all over your ceilings and walls or floors. And you've got a picture that you've taken and put that in page number two so we can share and check them out. But we're not done because I have a new question for you. Take a look. It says, suppose you had a second flashlight. Can you figure out a way to make the Big Dipper on your desk disappear without turning off your flashlight? So maybe on your wall or on your ceiling, if you project your stars, can you think of a way to make those stars disappear? Hmm. Again, it's difficult to discuss because we don't have everybody with us, but... Get a partner. Decide who will be star maker and who will be sunshine first. Don't worry, you'll switch jobs later. Now, at home, you can't necessarily partner up with someone, but what you can do is have mom, dad, brother, sister, or grandma, grandpa, some adult at home or another person at home help you out, okay? They're going to need a second flashlight or a lamp. All right, so with your second person, what I'm going to do is get it dark in here again, and I'm going to try to do this all by myself. We'll see if I have enough hands to do it. I think I can do it. So up here, I have this big light that I've been using to try to make things look a little bit better. And it is a doozy. It's this big light from my garage. Normally, I use this when I'm working on cars, but it should be a pretty great light. So I'm going to bring this over with me, too, and I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Now, you remember, I have my flashlight. And so one of you, probably you, you should shine your light. I'm going to use the cup because I think I can hold it. I'm going to have, have you shine your light up on the ceiling so you get your stars. I'm having trouble. There we go. There's my Big Dipper. You can see it. Now take your other partner, an adult at home or someone like that, and have them grab their light and turn it on. And it's going to act like the sun, okay? And uh, you can see what happens on mine. When I shine it up there, what happens to my stars? They're gone. And when the sun sets at night again, what happens to the stars? They're right there. Where are they? There they are. And then again, when the sun rises the next day, they're gone. You can't see them. And when the sun sets the next day, hey, there they are again. And when the sun rises the next day, they're gone. And when the sun sets, hey, there they are again. So I guess the question is really, are the stars ever really gone? Or are they there the whole time? So experiment with that for a little bit. In fact, what I'm going to have you do is push pause. So let's see what Mystery Doug, let's see what they found in their experiment. Here's what we figured out when we projected an image that looked like stars and then used a flashlight to act like the sun. When you turn the flashlight on, now you can't see the stars. The sun, or the flashlight, it outshines the stars. This is what's going on in the real world. See, it's nighttime and you see the stars out. As the sun comes up in the morning, it gets so bright that it starts to outshine the stars, making them impossible to see. See that? Now, when you move the flashlight down, notice how you can see the stars again. Well, watch this in real life. Only once the sun goes down in the evening does its light go away, and now the stars are not being outshone, and so we can see them. It's not just the sun that can outshine stars. This is true of any bright light. The moon isn't as bright as the sun, so you can still see stars when the moon is out at night. But look at this. Here's the sky when the moon is out. Okay, and here's the sky when the moon is not out. Wow. You see the difference? You can't see as many stars when the bright moon is out. It does outshine some of the stars. 
This is also true for city lights, like street lights. That's why my friend Andrea was so amazed. You see, she grew up where there were lots of street lights and lights from tall buildings, and those lights were always outshining the stars. So living in the city, she didn't see very many stars. But in the countryside, there aren't as many street lights to outshine the stars, so you can see lots of stars there. Now, here's something interesting to think about. If all the city lights could be turned off, what would you see? Well, sometimes things like this even happen, like when a city has a power outage. Here's what the sky would have looked like above New York City if they had a power outage and all the city lights went out. This can happen in neighborhoods too if the street lamps go out. You'll be able to see more stars when the street lights go out. So think about it. Does this mean that if you could somehow turn off the sun, you'd see the stars even in the middle of the day? Hmm. There's no way to turn off the sun. Or is there? Well, actually, there is, kind of. During a special, rare event called a solar eclipse, the sun is out, it's a normal day, and then the moon goes in front of the sun, as seen from here on the ground. What that does is it blocks out all the sun's light, like you see here. When that happens, the sky gets dark, even though it's the middle of the day. So you can see stars in the middle of the day. See? Stars really are there the whole time, even in the daytime. You just can't see them when the sun is shining brightly. See you next mystery. Have fun and stay curious.